Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll continue what we have been doing what for the last two days, what we had been doing for the last two days, which is the topic of weighted average. Weighted average, day number 386. 386. We began this topic, as I said, day before yesterday on day number 384. If you have not watched the video, the lesson on day number 384 and 385, the two videos, on the topic of weighted average. Make sure you watch those videos first before you continue with this one. This problem that you see on the blackboard comes straight from page number 132, problem number 6. Turn to page number 132, problem number 6, and here's the problem. You and I are going to do it together. So we, so here we are told that we have a charity event, and in this charity event, 43 individuals, 43 individuals have given, have given a contribution of $60 each. 21 individuals have given contribution of $80 each and 16 people have given $100. Question is what's the, what's the average contribution? And obviously we have to do the weighted average because the weights are different. Let's find out, shall we? 23 times 60, let's do it here. Well, 43 times 60, 43 times 6 is 18, 8, carry 1, 24 plus 1 is 25. So it looks like this amount is 2580. 21 times 8, 21 times 8 is 20 times 8, 20, 20 to 4, we can do it. 20 times 8 is 1600 because 10 times uh, is 16, 2 times 8 is 16, so it's 160 plus 8, 168. But if, if you like, you can do it out. So it's 8 and then 16, 168. Of course, it's 168 because 10 times 8, 10 times 8 is 80, 20 times 8 therefore would be 160. 28 is a 160 and we have 21 eights. 21 is 168 with a 0 at the end. So it's 1680. 1680. And this is very simple, it's 1600. If we add them all up, you get 0. 8 plus 8 is 16. 6 carry 1. And we get 6 plus 6 plus 6, 18. 8 carry 1. We get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 is 5. So we get 5860 divided by how many people do we have? Let's find out, shall we? 6 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 gives us 0, carry 1, and we get 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. We have 80 people exactly. What do you know? That works out. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. Zeros are going to go over. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. If we divide top and bottom by 2, 8 is going to become 4. 5 has 2 twos. 5 has 2 twos. After we take away 2 from the 5, we have a remainder of 1. That 1 goes and joins 8, becomes 18, and 18 has 9 twos. And 6 has 3 twos. So we end up with 293 over 4. I would have continued here myself, but because I want to keep it clean, I'm, we're going to continue here. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. By the way, we could have divided top and bottom by 4 instead of dividing by 2. We could have divided top and bottom by 4. Well, actually, we could not have divided top and bottom by 4 because 86. How do you know if a number is divisible by 4? A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits of the number are divisible by 4. We learned that long time ago. If the last two digits of a number are divisible by 4, then the number itself is divisible by 4. 586. Because 86 is not divisible by 4, 80 is divisible by 4. So is 84 and so is 88. But 86 is not divisible by 4. Therefore, we couldn't have we couldn't have divided by four, which is perhaps which is probably why I began with twenty two to begin with. Let's divide this number by four, even though we can clearly see it's not divisible by four. It's an odd number. Let's just see what happens. How many fours does two have? How many fours does two have? Two has no fours. Two has no fours. So two is too puny. Two is too puny to have any fours. It's too tiny. So what does he do? Well, he goes to the next door and says to the nine, "Listen, I'm too puny. I can't take on four myself. Let me join together." They join together and they and they become twenty nine. How many 4 does 29 have? 29 has 7 4s. 7 4s are 28. 7 4s are 28. After we take away 28 from the 29, we have a remainder of 1. What happens to that 1? That 1 goes and joins the 3, becoming, becoming 13. And 13 has 
three fours. Three fours are twelve. Three fours are twelve. But we have a thirteen here, not twelve. So we have a remainder of one. That remainder of one must be divided by four. It turns out that the average contribution was seventy-three and a quarter dollar. Seventy-three and a quarter dollar, which is the same as saying seventy-three dollars and twenty-five cents. Well, that's your average contribution. You want to do one more? Or one more very similar to this one? Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. I'm going to change the numbers here, so we're just going to erase these numbers here and see what happens here. And this time we're going to have four categories. And let's see what we have, okay? So I'm going to give you the new numbers. As soon as I put down the numbers, you do it yourself. Pause the video, pause the video and do it yourself. See what you can do. So we are told that we have 23 people who gave $40 each. We are told that we have 17 people who gave $60 each. We are told that we have 20 people who gave $80 each. And we are told that we have 10 people who gave $100 each. Go ahead, do it yourself. Pause the video. Pause the video and do it yourself. I'll give you five seconds to do precisely that. I'll give you five seconds, that is, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Here we go. All right. Let's do it our shelf. We don't need any of this. 23 times 4. Again, we don't, there is no reason why something simple like this, you should have to do it out, like I was about to do it out, is very simple. You understand that 25 times 4 is 100. 25 fours are 100. 25 fours are 100. Of course, everybody knows that 25 times 4 is 100. If 25 fours are 100, we don't need 25 fours, we need 23 fours. It's just going to be 8 less than 100, it's 92. 92 with a 0 at the end, because we have a 0 here for 40. Now 17 times 6 is something you perhaps want to do it together, perhaps not, because it's just going to be, if you want to do 17 times 6, this is 17 times 6 if you want to do it, it's very simple, 17 times 10, 6 times, 17 times 6 which is 7, 6 times 17, 6 times 10 is 60, and 7, 6 are 42, 7, 6 are 42, which can be 102, 102, but we have a zero at the end. This this zero so this zero is what I'm bringing here. This zero is what goes here. Two times eight is sixteen, and then two more zeros. And this is very easy. It's just one thousand. Let's see what we can do. We need the room. Obviously, we're gonna have to raise everything. So two plus two is four. 6 plus five, 9 is five, 15, carry 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, it looks like this amount, 4,540 divided by how many people? Well, 10 plus 20 is 30, 30 plus 10 is 50, 50 plus 30 is 80. Divide top and bottom by 10, this goes away, let's divide top and bottom by 2. It's 54, it's 54 divisible by 4. But we know 60 is divisible by 4, because 60 is 15 times 4. If you take away 4 from the 60, you get 56. 54 is not divisible by 4, so we're not going to divide by 4. Let's divide by 2. If you divide by 2, 8 is going to become 4. 2 has 2 twos, 5 has 2 twos. After we take away 2 twos are 4, after we take away 4 from the 5, we have a remainder of 1. That 1 goes and joins this guy, it becomes 14. And 14 has 3 twos, 3, uh, th th 3 fours rather, we divide. Oh, we're dividing by 2. The last step. So, one more time. 4 has 2 twos, 5 has 2 twos, the remaining one goes and joins 4 and becomes 14, and 14 has 7 twos. I almost blew it, didn't I? So, it's 227, 227 over 4. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. If you divide top, or rather, let's divide top and bottom by 4. Let's divide top and bottom by 4 and see what we can get. I did not give you the answer here. Here the question was, here the question was, what is, what is the, it's too late now because you've been working on it and you probably ended up wasting a lot of time. I should have, I forgot to put the precise question. What is the approximate contribution? Question was, what is the approximate contribution? And the answer choices were, I'm so sorry, I should have done this ahead of time. 
A, B, C, D, and E. 60, 63, 65, 68, and 70. Question is, what is the approximate contribution? Whenever they use the word approximate, of course, that's, that's their way of saying, don't waste your time, we're not looking for precise figure. We're not looking for precise figure. See, let's see what we can do. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. 22 has 5 fours. 5 fours are 20. 5 fours are 20. After we take away 20 from the 22, we have a remainder of 2. That 2 goes, joins, just 2 goes and joins the 20. That 2 goes and joins the 7, becomes 27. And 27 has how many 4s? Well, 24 and 28. So we don't have 28. 26. Uh, tw tw 6 4s are 24. 6 4s are 24. And 7 4s are 28. 7 4s are 28. One more time. 7 4s are 28. In other words, instead of a 7 here, had it been 8, that 2 goes and joins it. Two, uh, 8 and becomes 28. And 28 has 28 has 7 4s. 28 has 7 4s. But it's, I'm getting 57. 4540. Oh, did I make this mistake here? 30. This is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, there are 70 people. Blast it. That's how you catch your mistake because I was about to get 50. There is no 50 here. There are 70 people, not 80. I have to start all over again. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Let's start all over again, shall we? 4540 divided by 7, divide top and bottom by 0, we've gone, and 7 of course is a prime number, we have no choice but to divide by 7, let's do it, shall we? How many 7 does 4 have? 4 has no, 4 has no 7s. That 4 goes and joins the 5, becomes 45, and 7, 6 are 4, 7, 6 are 42, 7, 6 are 42. After we take away 42 from the 45, we have a remainder of 3. That 3 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 34. That 3 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 34. Instead of 34, instead of 34, if we had a 5 here, in other words, if we had collected $10 more, we collected $4,540. If we had collected $4,550, then th that 3 would have gone and joins the 5, becomes 35, and we would have had exactly $65 in contribution. And that's your answer. Because they're looking for approximate. But if you want to carry on, if you want to carry on, this is what it's going to be. So one more time, one more time. 42 has 6, 6, 7, 6, 7 is a 42, 6, 7 is a 42. After we take away 42 from the 45, we have a remainder of 3. 3 goes and joins the 4, becomes 34. And 34 has 4 7s. 4 7s are 24. 4 7s are 28. 4 7s are 28. And we have a 34. After we take away 28 from the 34, we have a remainder of 6. And that 6 must be divided by 7. The average contribution that was made was 64 and 6 seventh of a dollar. The amount that comes closest to this amount, 64 and 6 seventh of a dollar, among the answer choices is this guy. Because as, I, as we said, instead of collecting $4,540, had we been able to collect just 10 extra dollars, the average contribution would have been precisely $65. Do you understand? That was it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.